What it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. KMV, coming at y'all for another vid, man. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Right now, it's. It's a whole skunk right there. That shit just threw off my whole train of thought. But, um, it's like. I've been up since, like, maybe 5 a.m. Boom, we back in action. I've been up since, what's going to been up since maybe like 5, 5.30ish, and um, I got this idea, well, I didn't get this idea, I was given this idea, and I was just like, you know what, why not, I'm about to like vlog my day in the truck, so I'm about to show you like the things that I do, how it goes and all of that, so, it's about 5, well, it's probably about 6 a.m. by now, I'm about to take you guys with me to work and show you how it goes. I have a bad ground in my car and I need to get that I need to get it fixed ASAP and yes yes I know I need to let my car warm up but like I woke up a little later than I normally do so I really have time to and I'm gonna scrape super bad ah ooh ooh wasn't as bad alright well I'm going to catch you guys at the truck. Like, comment, subscribe on today's vid, man. And let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, be mindful, again, I'm on my phone. It's kind of not really the best at recording on the phone. I'll be forgetting and stuff. But bear with me. Like, comment, subscribe on the vid, man. And thanks for watching, man. And I'll catch you guys when I'm at the truck. So this right here, right now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to check the oil. Right now. I'm about to check the oil. This is also considered under the pre-trip. For those that don't know what a pre-trip is. For those that don't know. Uh, Alright. Just finished checking the oil. The oil is good. For those that don't, like, you know, either A, drive trucks or B, just don't know what a pre-trip is. A pre-trip is when you... When you evaluate your, well, I'm going to just use a vehicle because this is what it is in my case. When you evaluate your vehicle before you, you know, utilize it, before you, you know, take it out. So, you check your oil, you kick all, ooh, new tires, but, um, you check your oil, you kick all your tires, make sure your tires not flat. And then something else is what I'm about to do is I turn the truck on, I let the air build up, um, I check the strobes, the hazards. The strobes and the hazards make sure everything is all good so that when I get on the job so I don't have any issues and causing me to be out of work for a day so sorry if the angles are like real weird I'm holding the camera like kind of iffy right now I'm just trying to gotta remember I am at work so I'm trying to get get in now I don't know why that paper is there again so right here now I go Neutral. We live, baby, we live. Turn on the CV. Hazards. Lights. I also like to raise the body. Like sometimes, literally, things in trucks are just malfunction out of nowhere. So, always want to make sure everything is in working order. So that way, when you get on the job, you're not like, oh man, I gotta go to the shop because the, the, the PTO not kicking in. Everything. I'm ready to hit the road. I got my little ginger ale. I got my bagel in my pocket. And I'm pretty sure everything should in the check. Everything should be good. I like to typically like plug in all my charges and stuff. But right now I don't have time for that. I'll do that at the plant. And just to let you guys know ahead of time. It's kind of hard. Oh, sorry. See, this is what I'm talking about. Not even realize how I'm holding the phone. Um, it's going to be kind of hard for me to realize. I mean, drive and record. So, like, if there's not a lot of clips for today and you get a lot of sitting clips... 
you know, just remember that I'm doing my best. And um, like, comment, subscribe on the video again, guys. And I'm about to hit the road. Let's go.
after I dump, it'll be easy for me to clean it off. And now I gotta go catch the line. And work so like <laughs> it's gonna be kind of hard to fill as I go through my day. first load everything else after that is the same like you drive here you clean out once you clean out you go back to the plant and you do the same thing over again it's like a process so when I'm empty I go get loaded I come back and I do it again and unless anything like interesting happens I don't really find a need to bore you guys because it's pretty redundant after that so I figure maybe two loads three loads maybe just to give you guys a gist of how it goes. Some days are pretty good, some days aren't. But, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Miles for giving me this idea to do this. Who knows how well or, or good or bad this will turn out, but I guess we'll find out in editing and post, right? <laughs> but, um, like, comment, subscribe on the bed. I'll catch you guys when I'm either A, dumping, or B, cleaning out. Try and record dumping for you guys. Put a body up, the guy be like this. It's 
down and stop, um, all of that. So yeah. So got the wipers. Got yeah, like pretty much everything in here. Everything, not everything, but close to it. Cruise control, lights, and all of that. Blah blah blah. Just, that's the parking brake, like the e brake. Cars, I guess, but this is how you park. Like, I'm in, 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 in neutral right now. This is the gear thing, but I'm in neutral right now. And, yeah, if you don't pull that out, the truck will roll. But this is the gear stick. I never used to like trucks that had it like angled out, but like it kind of grew on me just for a sense. And this is a um, 10 speed U box or 15 U. Depending on how you want to put it, you can split the little gears. Pretty soon, you got your PTO level for the body to go up and down, and then that's the tailgate. Honestly, that's pretty much it. Everything else is good. That does in the truck. Got the CB, radio, and AC and heat. Alright, yep, that's about it. But gotta move up. It is easy, but at the same time, it isn't just for the aspect of the potential of how long you could be driving for, like that at times when it's almost always unknown. You never know how long you could be driving for, but it's fun. Anybody who were to be like, oh, I'm gonna get my license, I would definitely recommend it. Stay on the brake, especially if you're not, if you're going uphill, not so much. But you really gotta stay on the brake because if not, you'll fall out of the box. When you fall out of the box, all the asphalt that's in the body hits the ground, and it can't be laid flat. And then it becomes a problem for them, not us. But like. It'll be our fault, so it'll be our problem too. You know where they wanted us to clean out. I don't know where the other drivers went, so I feel like this is a sufficient spot. So I'm gonna clean out and I'm gonna do it quick and get it over with. I'm gonna hit you guys out. I cleaned out and got out of there because I don't know if they wanted me to clean up there or somewhere else. You guys, it's something about a train station. Bro, there's nothing but train tracks over in this area. I'm, not, I'm familiar with this area, so for him to say that to me, I'm just like, bro, what? So, yeah, I don't know what they want us to do, so I just did it there. And I'm out, just like that. Um, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys a better in-depth clean-out video, but uh, for now, I'm gonna just kind of rock with how I'm going, if I can, I can. <laughs> air cool to get caught you know because i don't know if that was the right spot or not but if it was we cool but if it wasn't you know but i'll catch you guys when we get back to the last so. back at the plane now now we're gonna get um i changed my mind i want you guys to see me um but now we're gonna do a half inch super pit I did just say I was gonna take the street. He just told me get on the highway, take 42, take the left. So what was that? Living an axe or an axe, that's the same route. If I didn't ask, he probably would have been like, Yeah, take it, go ahead. I would have hit the back streets. It 
would have just been longer. But that's what's going on. Half is super big. We have we about to go to silo one to get this morning. We might have went to silo three. 4871, I need another load for Empire. Call it what you need, baby. That's silo eight. Silo eight. Silo eight, boy. Bomb yeah. Let's get loaded over there. That's drop number one. Then he's gonna move up a little bit, stop, and then get drop number two. And then there goes drop number two. It's like right here, I would have been inching up a little bit so the um so it doesn't do that. I love four eight eight two. To each his own, though. To each his own. We're all loaded and we're headed out. We're about to actually go ahead and take our 9 o'clock break. It's been like 15 minutes ago. Take our 9 o'clock break. Have a little same as a sucking. A little water sucking. Let's try it right here. Hey. Left hand in it. Taking our 15 minute break. Felt like y'all couldn't see me. It's pretty much how it goes. Pretty much. Not much really goes on with me in my day, but get loaded, go down, get loaded, go down. Not a lot to it, but we get a break at um, 9 and 12, if they work through lunch. You know, we don't like really get a break, but like we take like a little 15 minute break or something like that, I think. And that's kind of how it goes. Still got a little bit of sandwich left. But I was informing y'all on what's going on. Working for Galas was pretty cool. I used to run for a company called Telcon. They they were they got a lot of plants like around the state of Connecticut. I used to go out so far, so far from home. Taking an hour drives home, hour and a half drives home, it's like four in the morning. I'm like, man. Lasso, they kind of stay in the area, which is kind of cool. I think the furthest I went with the Lasso is like a four hour, one hour drive, and that's in the day, so it's not that bad. But I'm about to finish taking my break. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. I'll catch you guys when I'm about to start driving again. Same, man, I love my dog. Yeah, man. Trucks everywhere. I'm making this chair. Pull up, I'm the I'm messing up, I'm messing up, I'm messing up, I'm messing up,
there like two more trucks gotta go up there. Damn. And they actually putting the road down now. They're not putting the first coat. That means the truck is about to be mad sticky. Cleaning out is gonna be a pain. I already see it. Just finished dumping. Back to the draw. It's a lot. It's definitely it's so sort of sticky. Literally, it sticks to your shoes. That's About to jump up on the body and show you guys that I'm about to try and clean up a little bit more. Yeah, so I sprayed a little diesel in the body, so the next dump it should be come out a little cleaner. Hopefully, but we'll see. So here's how the body looks. I cleaned up, as you can see, probably. I don't know how well you can see the little scrapes that I did over there. I did uh, the tailgate. Well, I keep hitting the wrong thing, just so that the next dump isn't too bad and I poured some oil in the body it's supposed to like help the asphalt not stick to the body so it won't look like this so next dump it should be a little cleaner and now that we're all done we're gonna just head off to the back to the plant Subscribe, thanks for watching, tell your friends, do all that stuff. Boom, 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 man, I'm out. Gloves are dirty, peace. All right, y'all, I just got signed out. We use this book right here. Every driver, I think, has a different book, but this is the book I use. Can't really see it, the sun kind of probably just brightened that whole sheet. But um, just got signed out. That's gonna be it for today. I got, I don't wanna say I got lucky, cause I was kinda, I was hour chasing, like last week, and a little bit of this week. So, Hopefully, hopefully, oh bump. All right, so yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a full day at um, work. Kind of got short today. If, if it wasn't for the, the rain that's supposed to fall at six, and it's like two o'clock, I would have probably went back for another load, but I did three loads today burn like that much of diesel which is really good goal is to let burn less diesel so you put more put less back into the truck and you keep more into your pockets remember that but um like comment what the hell was that like comment subscribe on the vid man thanks for watching let me know again how you guys feel about this and um i'm, I'm gonna do my best man i'm gonna really do my best all i can all i can say is i'm gonna try because i want to post more but i gotta edit and i don't edit enough because i be in this so, one more time, just so y'all hear me loud and clear, man. Like, comment, subscribe on the vid, man. It's your boy, Mr. K. Wavy, man. And I'm out, man. A day in the life of a 20-year-old truck driver. You feel me? <laughs> I'm out.